How does social validation affect your investment decisions? Financial planner Mr. Ramalingam will explain this to you now. Arjun has actually received his first paycheck and bought iPhone. It is not that he bought an iPhone. This is something very common. Most of the people do. Here the point is he has got within just an hour of posting that in the social media, he has got close to 420 likes, 69 comments, 12 shares. Though we commonsensically know we have to do savings, we have to take emergency reserve and all those things. Regardless of that, people like this. People, people are going after instant gratification and there is also social validation to it. But the poor guy Krishna with his first paycheck, he did an SIP. Even after 24 hours, he got only 5 likes. What does this actually mean is it is not what Krishna is doing is wrong or what Arjun is doing is wrong. The social validation is also for acting against common sense in us, acting in favor of instant gratification. Though we know that common sensically this is what we have to do, but we are not actually doing it. Are we actually doing it? No. That seems to be a quite a bit of challenge there. It is a major challenge, I would say. So how can we address that challenge? Right. We think common sense investing is something which is useless. It is cliche. It is boring. So we ignore it. Common sense investing is not cliche. Common sense investing is not boring. Common sense investing is not useless. Common sense investing is actually useless. Let us see how it works out in favor of both over a period of time. Let us say the guy who started an SIP, the initial 25,000 rupees, he has invested in an average large cap fund. So he has invested that money in an average large cap fund and he has left it as such. After 27 years, the first installment of 25,000 rupees has grown to a huge money, 37 lakhs. Simple first investment of 25,000 over a period of 27 years has compounded to 37 lakhs. The common sense investing has paid Krishna 37 lakhs. But whereas for Arjun who bought an iPhone, nothing. Egro replaced his iPhone and that iPhone which he bought 27 years back doesn't have any value today. It is basically a depreciating asset. Krishna has invested in an appreciating asset. It has given even in an average fund. I'm not talking about a super duper fund with an investment strategy. Even in an average fund, it has given him 37 lakhs. Krishna is richer by 37 lakhs. This is what common sense investing does. Common sense investing makes an investor bit dumb in the short term, but makes him smarter in the long term. Someone who is acting against common sense investing may look smarter for the time being in the short term. But in the long run, the same person will be definitely smarter and richer. Thanks for your detailed explanation. Are you in search of a personal guide who can remove the stress of handling your finances? Then please feel free to avail our expert consultation. And also you can attend our webinars to gain investment related insights. Both the consultation and webinar are absolutely free and you can find the link in the below description. Please like and share and do subscribe to Holistic Investment.